Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to give you a story time of my life. Really, mm. Karibisha Nairobi. How was how I nearly got killed? How I nearly got kidnapped? How I nearly ended my life because of Pujinga too. Yeah, so guys, I started all the way back from Eldoret. I used to live in Eldoret with my sister. I was doing my diploma. So at that time, I wanted to transfer my credits to Thika, Mount Kenya University, Thika. So I was supposed to come to Nairobi to check out, to see how I can transfer my credits so that I joined Thika campus. So before that, my sister, Liko Menyambia Rispa, she was doing uh, her bachelor's, so she was really busy. At that time, I remember Liko Nafanya exams, main exams. So Kanyambia Rispa, relax, Nikimali's exams, I'll take you to Nairobi, and then we go check it out. Mimi is ski. Then I had my friend called Charlotte. Charlotte had lived in Nairobi for some time, but his family, the father and everybody was in Eldoret, and it happened they were our neighbors who were Eldoret. So we took us up to touch base, the Kamambia Charlotte, I really want to go to Nairobi, I want to go and start a new life, I want to check out how Nairobi is. Ikinipenda bus in Tabaki, it's for Nipenda, it's our Charlotte Akanemberispa, why not, let's go. Ndohuyo mimi ni kachangisha pesa zangu vizuri, zika fika. Tukenda kwa North Rift, tuka book, apile tulisha book, the next day nilikuwa tu safiri, tukenda kwa salon, tuka tegmeza nyuele, we packed all our staff, tuka beba bagetu kwa bugo the next day, na heels. Kutoka rodi huko chini, tuka tembea paka kwa stage, tuka pana matatu, tukenda kwa, tukenda, tukaza kuja Nairobi. So, when we were coming to Nairobi, I didn't have anywhere else to go. Yani siku anajua naenda wapi Nairobi, but Charlotte had promised me she has a few family friends, she has a few friends in Nairobi. Tunezenda kuka nao as nikitafuta maisha yangu Nairobi. Dao sisi tumefika Nairobi usiku, after kufika usiku tukashuka I think after center of somewhere. Tukapanda gari, tukaenda all the way to Satellite. Satellite is in Kawangware, right? She had a friend in Satellite, Kawangware uko. Akanyambea Rispa uko ndo tunenda ku. So, tulipofika kwa hiyo ni mbawe mtichana, alikuwa meza mtoto, na uwe mtoto wake akuwa sawa, alikuwa not 100% okay. So, she was very down, she was very sad. Charlotte akasema, Rizba, why don't we go out to chongamushe beste, beste yetu kamuliza, but we don't have money for alcohol, what will happen. Akanebea Rizba wa usijali, na ima atakuwa kukuba, ukisimama tui vitu, kidansi kidogo kwa club, tuta, tuta patadu. Akanyambea Rispa, wao sijali penya drinks zitatoka. Na ima atakua kukubo kisma matubi kwa club. Baba bota atatunulia po, pombe. So, hapo hivyo kwa shopping center, hapo set like kawangari tukenda hao. We borrowed clothes. I didn't have clothes for going out. Nikapewa dress. Fupi inafika hapa, ndo ito ya ass vizuri. Ndo tununuliwe pombe. Sindi yo, diyao sisi tukaenda, tukaenda. Tukafika hivyo kwa club tumeka. Wakaitisha small of black eyes. Ngapi? Mbili. And we are four? Four ladies. Mbili. Awa wili wana share, awa wili wana share. Na tukaitisha na maji. Pata tukuitisha na maji. I remember tukua tumebeba chupa kwa handbag. Tukenda kwa cho, tuka jaza maji kwa yotupa, tuka rudi na yo kwa meza. So unamwaga black eyes kidogo kwa glass, lafu unachukua maji, unongeza ije mpaka jo. Then you sip it the whole night. Nikasema kwa ni yuku Nairobi, ndo maisha. Anyway, yeah, so we were just there, Charlotte and Anya, I saw my list about dance, so I wanted to do a drink. So I started dancing, I saw my list dance, one of them was in Galia, two were in Galia, and I attracted men, and they came to our table, then this one guy came to our table, from that time, they were going to be bad boys, they were going to be light skin, they were ready, they were new, they were going to be staff, you know, so there's this guy who came to our table, and his attention was on me. He's, he told me um, he wants to buy us drinks, but the club was too noisy. He asked me to come step outside so that we can talk, we can talk. Nikauliza Charlotte, do I go or not? Akanibaya Rispa, unangoja nini enda? Ndoyo mimi, nikatoka inje. Kutoka inje, akanibaya, what's your name? Shore, Sijuyo, my name is who, who and who? Kamamea, ya, akanibaya, there's a few errands I need to run. Na ni usiku, sasa errands gani utuwa na run usiku? Akanibaya, I need to go somewhere and then to Rudy kwa club and then I'll get you guys a whole bottle of alcohol. Nika Rudy Mdani nika ambia kina Charlotte uyu jamaa mesima nipeleke pahali. Halikuwa menionesha gari yake. Gari yake nile Toyota Celica. Ile nafunguka hivi kama Ferrari. 
he mwenye sijai jua kumbe hiyo gari ni cheap hata siko anajua ti yani the fact that inafunuka hivi mimi nikaona basi nishangoke hapa kwa maana ndio hiyo mimi naenda kuomoka Nairobi the first time nime nimekanyaga Nairobi he shall not akanambia kona gari he akona gari akonje nikasema na unatoa kwa sawa akasema sawa at least waenda wenu wenu msindikize by the time unarudi tutanunuliwa chupa nasema sawa let's go aya so uh, it's a two two do to see to do lakini kuna viti kunyuma so if you pull up the co driver seat mtu anaweza ingilia na kunyuma so vile aliingia kwa gari akaniambia my sister is also coming with with me na kweli sister yake alikuwa anamfanana wote ni wale watu wakula mirango weupe na madrid locks nikaamka wakasukuma kiti mbele waka wakaingiza huyo mtu anakaingia uko nyuma so uh, for me i'm very keen particular details that's one thing god ali ni gift i'm very particular details hata niki drive nikijua mtu ananifuata i always know because i'm very keen nikienda pahali napiga macho naona yani you know very keen on details so nikaingia hivi kwa gari kwa gari hapa hivi side penye mtu wekanga kikombe kuna kifungua hapo hivi mandi kwa room something nika nikanyamaza tu nikasema maybe they are not from nairobi they are staying in a in a hotel na si hotel ya maana tiko na card no like um, it's not a motel ama it's not a guest house yeah it's like fungo na pause maandiko na 23 na 24 yeah so me kaingia so vile tulikuwa tunaenda kwa gari huyo uh, jamaa akaza jaribu kunipatia mira na kata akajaribu kunipatia mira na kata aya so to go to na drive aki drive hivi haraka ananinua hivi anajaribu kunua dress yangu juu na hiyo time shallot alikuwa ameniambia response by and I were trained to ati na ile pesa ndio banki ya ndio yasema hao he akaanza kuinunua hivi nini nguo akaanza kuinunua hivi nguo nguo na jaribu kurudisha anafanya hivi mkono anainua hivi nguo afanya hivi nikijaribu kuirusha hivi chini ananichapa hivi mkono nikaanza kushangaa nikaanza kwa so worried okay so tuka drive tuka drive siku hata sijui ni wapi ni usiku na mimi mgeni Nairobi i don't know anywhere aya tukaenda tukafika kwa guest house kufika kwa hiyo guest house huyo jamaa akashuka na pia kanyambex nika excuse sister yake akashuka nikabaki peke yangu kwa gari na nikaona ni guest house kweli sasa vile nilifika tulifika kwa hiyo guest house kitu ikaniambia rispa rispa this guy is going to rape you na anaenda kukurep na sister yake yani something would back up my mind was telling me this is not okay thank god sikuwa nimelewa tunakumbuka tulikuwa tunakunywa maji na smino ndio hiyo mimi Uh, yo gari siko anajua penye how to unlock the car but i was looking how he was opening it nikatafuta hiyo lock penye iko nika unlock ndio hiyo mimi nikatoka mbio nikaanza kutoka mbio ndio hiyo mimi pia natoka hata i don't know where i'm running to but i wanted to run somewhere where there's lights maybe there's a shopping center then i go there and ask for help sasa ni macha hizo zangu kwa gari ndio hiyo mimi nimetoka mwigumi chupu na mini mini dress inafika hapa ndio mimi nakimbia umejua sisi wasichana wanono ukikimbia ngo inapanda juu na sasa hizo tujavaa sijavaa anda wa nilikatazwa kuvaa ndio kukumbuka so ndio hiyo mimi natoka mbio kwa barabara uzuri thank god nilikuwa usiku ngo inapanda juu mataka wote iko nje ndio hiyo mimi natoka mbio yani niko tu sasa ku najaribu kuangalia nyuma kuangalia kama kuna mtu ananifuata kuangalia hivi nyuma nikaona gari nakuja na full lights na ilikuwa gari ya huyo mse alikuwa anakuja mbio kitu ikaniambia divert nika divert hivi kwa kwa manyumba nyumba tu nakimbia 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 maumbo pia ndio hizo zinanikimbiza haya kufika pahali nikaona light huko mbele nikakimbia hapo hivyo thank god nikapata a pole of steamer steamer pole na kulikuwa na light na kuna watu wa boda boda wamekaa hapo wengi ni wale watu wa ndithi wenye wao wanakoja clans wa usi wa usiku nimefika hapo nimehema mwe uko huko juu huyu hao watu wa boda boda wananicheka wanasema mama mbona uko uchi aka nikakumbuka niko uchi nikavuruta chini nguo wakaniambia tu leo tuambie whatsapp ni ati ndio ndio kazi ya malaya huko Nairobi ni nini inaendelea nikasema mimi si malaya actually nimefika tu leo kutoka Eldoret i'm new here and this and this happened sasa kidogo huyo jamaa akakuja na gari bila nifika hapo hivyo kwa hiyo stage akashuka kwa gari amekasirika akakuja nilikuwa nimeshika zile afro kinki zile nywele kama gunia si unazijua zenye zilikuwa zinatistiwa hivi akakuja kanivuruta kichwa akaanza kuniambia hawa jamaa anamuuliza mbona unamtreat hivyo mbona una mishandle alafu hiyo jamaa akamwambia ti he's my wife ametoroka nyumbani amacha watoto amacha sijui vitu kwa nyumba anaenda kulewa huyu bibi yangu amezoea kulewa sana 
amezoea kulewa sana na nataka rudi nyumbani angalia watoto. Na scream na naambia watu wa motorbike, I don't know this guy muulize jina yangu, hajui jina yangu. Akaanza kuniita jina zingine hapo akasema he's my wife. Pia sitaki akatushuka kwa gari akasema eh, hey, huni bibi yetu. Mbona ametoroka nini nini? Ah uh, watu wa motorbike wakasema wa, mambo ya watu wawili nyoo analala kwa kitanda hatuwezi ingilia. So nilikuwa nichukuliwe, niingize kwa hiyo selika hiyo gari twende penye tunaenda they rape me they do everything they want with me they can either kill me or leave me alive to come and tell, tell the story for another day ama niuliwe ni tupo kwa ngong forest he nikaanza kuomba Mungu nikasema sio hapa kutendaje naomba hao watu wa motorbike na scream naambia kama mimi ni bibi yake mbona ananichesa hivi akanipiga akanimoa nywele huku hivi hizo mabrain zote zilitoka na nilikuwa natoka na damu huku mbele akanimoa nywele zote ikatoka na damu Thank God. Thank God. There's a police patrol. So wa, police walikuwa na patrol wako na there's so much commotion. Hapo iko kwa hiyo stage wakakuja. So vile walifika nilikuwa mimi na scream. Kwanza nilikuwa nawaita polisi kujeni mnisaidie wamekataa kunisaidia. Siwajui wakakuja wakaniuliza msichana umelewa? Nikamwambia no, nikasogea huyo polisi nikambrithia. Hapa even nikamwambia no sir my breath. I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not high. Sijalewa. I just got into Nairobi today. See do anything about Nairobi to mena na mabesi zangu kwa club ku nini? Kulewa alafu jamaa kaniambia nimsindikize pale and this and this happen. So akaniambia are you sure yes. So thank God. Hiyo time vile police alikuwa anaongea na mimi, u jamaa alikuwa ameanza kuficha sura hivi pia sitaki alikuwa ameficha sura hivi wataka kuingia kwa gari. So nauliza hao watu wa motorbike kama mimi ni bibi yake, mapolisi wamefika mbona anataka kutoroka. Polisi ukifika hivi <coughs> wakaingia kwa hiyo gari wakasema si wewe ni huyu kijana tunatafuta sana wewe ndio ule uh, kila kila wewe ndio watu tunatafuta sana wakaniambia msichana ingia kwa gari yetu ya polisi nikaingia haraka then they went around and check the boot of the car there was a machete and a gun guys kulikuwa na machete panga na bunduki wakaniambia msichana you are very lucky tume tumekupata hapa kwa sababu this guy we've been looking for him for a long time thank god to you tumekupata i mean through you tumemshika na tunaenda kupeleka ndani so we went to lovington the gari police station i will never forget when we got to the to the police station it was very late i couldn't i was so traumatized i couldn't remember any contacts in my head hata simu ya mama yangu sikumbuka simu ya my dad sikukumbuka simu ya my sister sikukumbuka So our police they were nice to me. Thank God kwa hiyo seli ya wasichana kulikuwa na only though it was only me but kwa kwa vlana ndo kulikuwa na twengo. Wakaingiza huyo jamaa huko hivyo. Sister yake pia ni walikuwa na jua they do something bad to me. Wakamuingiza huko na wanaume wakanyeka peke yake kwa kwa hiyo seli ya wasichana. Ya wasichana I couldn't sleep at night. At night huyo jamaa alikuwa anambia ukitoka kwa hii place nitakushika na nitakuchinja nitakuua nitafanya nini? I was so traumatized. So in the morning, uh, our police wenye walikuwa shift ya usiku wakatoka. Police wengine wakaingia, wakakuja, wakanipata hapo, mwenye na dress yangu fupi, wakaanza msichana what happened, waka transfer case nini nini, niko explainia kila kitu. Wakaniambia hata kama tu walikushika na una makosa, tune uh, utupanguzia hapa. So walikuwa wameshaniona nimevaa dress fupi na matako zangu zimetoka hivi. Wakaanza kuniambia ni wampokee. Imagine police alinipatia si ile mop ya kijiti, ananipatia mop dasta ya chini ni mop na hiyo dress fupi. So niki mop hivi ngo inapanda juu. Wana cheka wana fry. I was so humiliated. I felt so bad. And then later on OCPD akakuja around saa 3 saa 4 ndio akaniita akaniambia nimesikia kesi yako. Do you have somebody to call to come and pick you? So that time at least akili yangu ilikuwa imeanza kurudi vizuri. Uh, I called my sister in Eldoret nikamwambia Karo this and this happened akaniambia we've been looking for you the all night how did you go to Nairobi without telling me but my sister she's very nice she didn't judge me she told me uh, she's on her way to Nairobi to come and check up on me so her boyfriend Moses was coming to collect me from the police station so thank god boyfriend yake alikuwa daktari akakuja akanichukua kutoka kwa Mudagari police station nikawa link up na kina Shalo tokakuja akanichukua wakanipeleka hospitali they thought maybe i've been raped kwa sababu nilikuwa na damu all over my face huku viko wote but uh, thank god they insisted that we go to the hospital but told them no i wasn't raped are you sure no but we need to go to the hospital so i went to the hospital they check up on me i was okay the only thing was the bruises on the head and from that day uh, i went to my sister's boyfriend 
to stay there. My sister came and we went back home. And I just said, like, this was a way of God. Nairobi, Nairobi, life is not easy. So my advice to young ladies who are coming from a country to come and live in Nairobi, just be vigilant. Just be, yani, don't, don't be easy to trust people. Kwa sababu Nairobi saizi ya tamtuwa nezakuwa mekosmati kama mimi ya mevasuti na ni muizi, mkora, madara, rapist, hizo vitu zote. Kama umetuma Nairobi kwenda shule, go to school. Kama umetuma Nairobi kuja kazi, enda kazi. Wachana na mambo mingi mpaka ujue your way around is when you can start trusting people, you understand? So guys, just be safe and thank God I'm alive today to tell this story so that I can help somebody out there. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and share to your friends and I love you all. Keep safe.